Impact of Law Research in South African Courts. Legal literature is often cited in court judgments. Authors and their publication is a common form of reference, as well as court in the year of judgment. The Fontes Juris is one such South African legal journal where judgments and their citations are documented. The goal of this project is to extract the relevant information from Fontes Juris and determine the relationship between author and judgments and how it impacts South African courts. In achieving that goal, we needed to extract the data from the PDA formats in which it was shared. This is probably one of the most difficult tasks that there is, since a PDF is actually a collection of pictures that has all sorts of margins between the letters, the words, and the lines itself. But ultimately, we built a PDF extractor that mined all of this data, including author, court, judgments, years, publications, and output it in the CSV file ready for analysis. A bipartite network indicates there are two separate node groups. In this case, a group of author nodes and an associated judgment node. No direct relationship exists between authors, neither does any exist between the judgments. Python's network X library was used to partition the nodes and assign the category as well as the plot for the network plot. We finally use the degree centrality metric to determine which authors have had the most impact. Using a three-dimensional uh, for loop, we were able to split all of the citations for each and every year, for every author, and for every single court. By adding all of this back up with all of the selected weights, as given to us by the UP Law faculty, we were able to create a weighted model that tells us, according to the selected weights, which authors were the most impactful. Three. This is a snapshot of our application and all of the key uh, statistics that we collect in our application. The first collection is the historical view of all of the cases over all of the years for the different democratic periods. The red is a pre-union, blue is the union, republic is yellow, and democratic is green. What is interesting is that all cases or judgments increased significantly up until the democratic period at which point it decreased significantly. One specific interesting view is all of the cases by the different courts. What we have enabled is selecting a year to sort all of the courts by, by count of judgments. Uh, sorted in 1975, uh, the most relevant court was the Supreme, Supreme Court of Appeal. And what is quite nice about this view you can see how relevant all of the courts were that were at its height in 1975 and all other years. The next interesting uh, demographic is a histogram of all of the judgments per author. And this particular uh, case is now sorted at 2015. And what is very interesting here is that what is clear from the graph is that the most relevant author in 2015 did not start writing at, at even in the 2000s. And this is clear from all next authors that go back into history and remain and lost relevance into the future. The application shows a few Pareto charts, and then we've come to the network analysis model. A bipartite network plot can be plotted for specific courts and the period selected. And Besides the fact that you have a degree centrality plot, you can also see which were the most common author pairs and which, which judgments both of these authors had shared by just selecting the radio buttons. For the weighted model as described previously, we've automated the ability to change the weights as was preferred by the UP faculty law. This will allow them to select different weights for different periods and for different courts to then select the top authors based on the weighted model for any which way they want. For example, you could set all other periods to zero except the demographic period and all other courts to zero except the constitutional court. And in such way, find only the key authors in the constitutional court. But with the weights that were selected, these are the top authors. <laughs>